Yo guys what's up it's Crips and welcome to another quick Destiny fashion video. So today I'm showing you how to make a Blackout Titan set. Now I've also made two other videos like these on the channel for the Warlock and the Hunter. So please go and check them out if you haven't already. But anyways I'm showing you some armor you should be using on a Blackout set. Some shaders as well and giving you some tips as to how you can make your own set. So anyways I'm going to be starting off with some shaders I would recommend using for a Blackout set. This doesn't necessarily mean that you need these shaders, but these are the best shaders I have found across most armors in the game. So these shaders are Metro Shift, Shrouded Stripes, Amethyst Veil, Oiled Gunmetal, Skeletal, Abyssinian Gold, and Refurbished Black Armory. Now comment down below any other shaders that you find that work with specific pieces. I've only wanted to announce these, as these pretty much work across most of the armor in the game. Now anyways, moving straight into my Blackout set. So as for the armor, I'm using the Celestial Helm Ornament, the Chest and the Mark, use both the Lux pieces from the Eververse Archive, the Boots of the Righteous Boots from the Season of Dawn, now these are no longer obtainable, and as for the arms, I'm using the Symphoseps with the Siva Ornament, now the Siva Ornament is currently dropping from Bright Engrams. Now as for shaders you want to use Amethyst Veil on the arms and the mark, Oiled Gunmetal on the helmet, Abyssinian Gold on the chest plate, and Metro Shift on the boots. Now I'm going to show you some main exotics that I use on the Titan which are also among the most popular and we be showing you how to use them in a blackout set. So as you can see I'm using the Symphoseps here. Now I highly recommend if you have the Siva ornament to use them as I think they generally do look much nicer and also in a blackout set the arms fully black out when using Amethyst Veil whereas on the normal version they can go fully black with Amethyst Veil. Now this isn't to say they can go fully black as you can see with Scanagall it has a bit of a blue glow uh, but there is a secondary colour here and then as for Refurbish this can also work although it still has that like sort of oiled gun metal tint to it and it makes the glow white. Now while we're on the arms I'm gonna go ahead and show you as well the sight and ramparts as I know a lot of people like using these. So as you can see we have Amethyst Veil here. Now I would highly recommend this over like pretty much any other shader for these. Now something I will point out with Amethyst Veil and Metro Shift on Titan Armor is that it works quite different to other classes. So as you can see Metro Shift and Amethyst Veil look extremely similar but the only difference is is that Amethyst Veil is actually a bit more like scuffed and worn down so if you actually want to clean a look as you can see. Another example of this would be on the Virtuous Arms from the Season of Dawn Pass. When I switch to Metro it goes a lot shinier and cleaner Then when I go to Amethyst it goes all scuffed. Now I'm just going to go ahead and show you all the exotics I want to show off so I'm showing off the one eye mask now on a blackout set. Now I highly recommend if you're looking to purchase a set from the Eververse for like a blackout set to get the Lux set. So I'll put on the boots as well. As you can see you can easily achieve a black set with the Lux armor. But yeah if you are using these Lux pieces I would only recommend using Scattergall and Abyssinian Gold on certain pieces. Although I also really like the Amethyst Veil on the helmet as that makes like a nice black whereas on other pieces it does add the silver. Now anyways moving on to one eyed mask if you do have it use the Gian ornament on it. I think this looks much nicer especially with Amethyst Veil as you can see. But if you do not then I would use oiled gun metal on it. Now anyways I'm showing you the dune matches now. Now something I want to point out as well is that this week the celestial plate is being sold for 1200 bright dust in the bright dust store. Now if you do have amethyst veil on this you can create a really nice black look. Although it does have a little blue under the torso here this also has amethyst veil on it and you can get this from the beyond light quests from Varix. So yeah I'm going to show you this quickly so I put on the virtuous arms from the season of dawn pass to have a little bit more purple glow so yeah as you can see if you do have the hip wado ornament for the dune matches which if you don't know is the ornament that adds this glow so as you can see it's normal and then it's the hip wado ornament so if you do have the celestial plate and want to make a blackout set with it i'd recommend using the dune matches with the hip wado so you can match the glow with the chest plate now if you are using the normal version though, I'd recommend using oiled as it gets rid of most of the silver as you can see here and this works a lot better with the Lux then. 
Now I've covered the main exotics I wanted to cover. Now I'm just going to be showing you a bunch of pieces that I like for like going for an all blackout look. So I'm just going to start with the helmets. So we have Legacy Oath here with the old gun metal. I think this is a really nice helmet to use. Then we have the Wildwood Helm from the EDZ packages with the Shrouded Stripes. We have the Pyrrhic Ascent with the Amethyst Veil Shader, but you can also use Metro Shift on this. Got the Forbidden Visage with the Metro Shift. I'll show you all again that like Amethyst Veil works the exact same way, but it's just a bit scuffed. Dragonfly can also work with this, although it does have these unshadable grey bits at the top. And then one of the seasonal pieces I really like is the Righteous Helm. And as for the shade, I've gone for Scatagall, although Amethyst Veil looks really nice on this. Shrouded Stripes. These are gunmetal, so it all pretty much looks really good on it. So some arms, the Virtuous Arms, the Prefectus Arms, as you can see here, don't look too bad with Scatagall. Although it does have a bit of this orange here. Dragonfly Regalia is also another nice one with Scatagall. The Old Charles Arms with the Metro Shift also looks really nice. And if you want some bulky blacked out arms, you can also use the Wildwood Gauntlets with the Amethyst Veil Shader, or even the Retrograde Arms if you want to eliminate the netting and all the extra pieces. Then onto some quick chest plates, obviously the Celestial, we have the Virtuous with the Amethyst or Metro Shift, either one works best. There is also the Pyrrhic Ascent Plate from the Charles of Osiris, and I would recommend using the oiled gun metal on this to get like the darkest colour. And then as for some boots, you can use obviously the righteous boots with the Metro Shift from the Season of Dawn. You could also use the ornament, but obviously it adds the silver part here with the big glow. You can use retrograde of oil gun metal from Ledger Ingrams. And then as for some marks, obviously we have the Lux. I really like the Pyrrhic Ascent of oiled gun metal. I'll switch this though so you can see it better, as you can see. The Great Hunt with Amethyst Veil also looks nice. The Wildwood with Skelligal if you just want like a torn mark. And also the Prefect, this one looks quite good as well if you want quite a wide mark. But yeah guys, that's pretty much the video. Please comment down below any armor and shader combos that you found that work really well in a blackout set. But yeah, thank you all so much for the amazing support recently. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next video.